My name's Natalie and I was 10 years old at the time of the Sandy Hook school shooting. My brother Daniel, he was seven um, and was killed in the Sandy Hook school shooting. It changed my life forever. In 10 years ago, a lone gunman took the life of 26 first graders and teachers at Sandy Hook Elementary School in Newtown, Connecticut. And recently, President Joe Biden officially declared December 14 of 2022, a day of remembrance for the victims and their family. My name is Serena and I was seven years old during the Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting. What I went through was a difficult and like traumatizing thing to go through. And I think that no child or anyone should actually go through what I went through. Grieving takes time. And I think it's also important to acknowledge mental health and um, PTSD and also anxiety, and that plays like a big role into the healing process and just to understand that what people go through is hard on them as well and it's also hard on others. And I think it's important to know that like, as a collective group of individuals that we are here to keep fighting. My name is Nicole and on December 14th, 2012, I was a second grader at Sandy Hook Elementary School. I think the pain honestly never really, you learn to grow around it, but it never goes away as some people may think. The elementary students, we were so young, so it really was all we knew. And to grow up in a world where this can happen, seeing it happen over and over again has definitely sparked that we need change and we need serious life-saving federal action. And I think an assault weapons ban would just be so crucial. We saw the impact and the decrease in mass shootings it had when it was enacted in 1994. So we know the change that can be made, the strength that our community has that will always be there. And it's a beautiful thing to watch everyone come together and fight for change. My name is CJ and I was a nine year old at the time of the Sandy Hook shooting. I don't think I really fully process what happened until the Parkland shooting happened in 2018 and just having that realization that I had gone through something so similar. It's very easy to almost forget about these things, but Newtown is still here. These people still exist. And it's important that we continue to do this work. We're still not where we need to be because these events are still happening every day, numerous times a day. The dream scenario is that we get the important legislation that needs to be passed, passed. Um, there's been so much effort and so many people have spent so much time. I think it's important to stay resilient and to act. My name is Jordan and I was nine years old at the time of the Sandy Hook shooting. It's difficult to explain an event like that to a child. I've never been the same, my community's never been the same. But something I've learned is that Healing doesn't necessarily mean going back to how things were before. In many cases, that's not possible. But it can mean moving forward. It can mean coming to terms. And it can mean, you know, for me particularly, doing this sort of advocacy work because that's really what has helped me move through it. Healing looks different on everyone. Coping looks different on everyone. And this is what it looks like for me. My name is Jackie. I was seven years old when I was attending Sandy Hook School in 2012, and I was in second grade. I think the biggest takeaway is the fact that this is still happening. We thought right after that this would never have to happen again, and it's still happening. Gun violence right now is an epidemic. No child should have to learn that in second grade when they're hiding in their cubby. I made a promise to myself that no one else would have to go through what I went through. That promise is broken time and time after again. We're working towards gun violence prevention because we've suffered so much and we don't want to see that with other people. And Students Against Violence Everywhere is a school-based peer-to-peer program whose goal is to teach students the means of confronting and reducing violence and to inspire youth to become leaders in their school environments and to discuss peaceful solutions to conflicts.